Hello and welcome to the stream. Tonight we're returning to Factorio. And I wanted to start out by pointing out the reason why the power graph is so weird. This uh, electricity generator here functions as both a power producer and an accumulator. And it produces 500 gigawatts of power. So that's why our base has no power issues and has never had any power issues and looks like it's not using any production because it's not. We're using 17 or 18 megawatts out of 500 gigawatts plus whatever one of these arrays makes that I always forget how much it makes. 3.6 megawatts? So basically 500 gigawatts. So eventually we could disconnect this from the base because it's kind of overpowering. But, for now, I'm not going to worry about it, because that means I don't have to worry about par. Hey, Faze, and welcome. So, let's go head back down and get working on oil. And there's a rock there. Of course there is. But I thought about it some since the last time I streamed, which was Saturday? And I think I want to actually have a station to output um, solid fuel as well as uh, rocket fuel just in case we end up wanting it for um, for fuel for smelting or something I'm going to use rocket fuel for the train so we don't need it for that but didn't bring any splitters doggone it I guess we should have gone back to the base first Whereas stations too? Or is it just not reaching? Yep, okay, we should have done a resupply before we headed down here. So let's go do a resupply real quick. Use undergrounds, blue inserters, iron chests, or again, signals. Watch out for stuff. Use some more chain signals as well. That was quite close. You go this far east, but that's okay. Uh, we'll do a couple more. St Careful though, put a couple more stacks of those. Better take all of those, we might need them. Thirders, we'll take half of that. Everything is full. Let's go unload some of this this wood. I'm not going to walk all the way down to the circuits because I'm not going to have all that much to put it in anyway. Half of those. What kind of train cars do we have? We have fluid wagons, we have a few locomotives, we could use a few more locomotives, and some regular cars. Yeah. All those, and maybe a half a stack of locomotives. And that's pretty full. Alright, now let's get to work. Yeah, this wasn't enough blue inserters. Not even close. Or boxes, for that matter. But we'll go back and get some more later. We weren't, we weren't going to use the, all these stations just yet anyway, so... I want to get rid of a good chunk of these trees. Research. What do we... I don't even remember what sciences we have. Do we have military? Yes, we do. Go ahead and do just some more military research here. There are any. I just beat that one. 
Yeah, just that one. Needs to be gone. Oh, I should have unloaded that too. And there's our full inventory. Right, so let's do this. I do have a blueprint called Big Pump Jacks that basically just is a big, big array of pump jacks, but not a whole lot of need for it anymore with the little green outlines and stuff. So, not super necessary. And I have squeaked through, so I'm not going to bother with doing too much. Let's do that differently, though. But doing too much with underground pipes here. I'm just going to connect them up. Call it a day. I think I will do them here, though, just because it's such a long stretch. Do maybe here. Nope, down one. And I also kind of draw straight lines. What else is new? Okay, is that all the pump jacks in this area? Yes, it is. So we kind of just do a little bit of scattering of these. Never enough inserts when you're setting up train stations, that's for sure. There, there, and there. Alright, let's throw down another box. We don't have any boxes. Put it right here next to the train tracks so that I'll know it isn't there. Wish you could do something better with these. I actually saw on today's, um, on Catherine's video today that she's also dealing with the same issue. Okay, so what I want to do is kind of start the oil processing right here at the south end of the oil field. Start by setting up refineries. And then we'll start laying out some of the other arrays, even though we won't be able to use them all yet. We did the math the other day, and the like perfect array layout for, uh, or the perfect balance for oil and cracking, is uh, what was it? Oops, uh, twenty-five and seventeen. So we're gonna plan on having two rows of refineries to start with. We don't quite have that many refineries yet, but we'll have them soon enough. I guess we could have grabbed the other three that we need, but that's okay. This wastes a lot of nanobots, picking up all this junk off the ground. I, mean, I suppose I could use the F key and vacuum it all up, but I'm lazy. Make the bots work for their iron. Actually, I wonder if... Yeah, so... um. Autofill, Shift-C will actually do that. Take the stuff out of your inventory and put it into a box. If you have one laying out there. So I want to have enough room before we start doing refineries. Actually, I want to have enough room right here for a fluid bus. So we're going to need crude oil. At least one of each. Uh, crude, each one, one of each three outputs. Water, lube, not sulfuric acid. So it might just be the six. And then what I can do is if I end up needing more than one of each, I can just do it like this. It gets a little bit thick, but it'll be fine as far as um, as far as load goes. Okay, that's probably far enough north with the fluid bus. 
I want to have this thing go all the way down south, though, because I don't... Uh, how far it actually needs to reach? A little bit um, unknown at this point, because I haven't laid out anything. Okay, so I'm just going to pick kind of an arbitrary distance away from this last pump jack. Well, not super arbitrary, but the distance that I want it to be... Let's let's assume that I wanted a plan for beacons here. So you need a 3x3 three three for a beacon. And then you need two pipes worth, one for crude and one for water. So the minimum distance that we can have is this right here. And just to be safe, I'm going to add another... In case I forgot something, forgot something. So we'll start these pretty close to the fluid bus, maybe right here. I'll go back and clean that other stuff up in a minute. So all we have available to us right now is basic oil processing. Um, I forgot about this again already. As we looked last time, uh, the refining of, in, in AAI, the refining of crude into petroleum gas, the basic oil processing, still uses water. So we have to hook up water no matter what. In the vanilla game, you actually don't have to hook up water. You can, uh, you're, you don't need water, so you can just start working on it, and then when you do advanced oil processing, you need water. Stone. Are there any rocks around here? I have no stone. Yes, there are rocks. Excellent. Clean this mess up. That should give me enough, hopefully. But that's a coal rock, too. Hey, biters. How's it going? How did that not give me any stone? Oh, because it's in my... I'm an idiot. There we go. I had some. It was in my uh, logistics trash. I had plenty. I can make another one. If I need to. So for this, I'm just gonna just gonna actually hook it up right here. But I am gonna hook this up to the um, the water line in the fluid bus. So let's say crude is the furthest, just for argument's sake. So that actually be right here. So then that would be water, let's see, one, two, three different oil products, we'll put water right here. And I think that'll work fine. I, um... Make one of these constant, com constant combinators just to look, as far as fluids go, we don't need steam. And I'm not going to do sulfuric acid here. I'm going to ship sulfur where I need the acid. And make the acid locally. Because we have to ship sulfur anyway. So, let's do... Figure out power here. You know what? Maybe I should shift everything over a little bit further away from the... Um, fluid bus. Go there. I want to connect, make sure this is connected to the big power poles, just as a matter of principle. Yeah, let's shift this over just a bit more. Maybe that far. Okay. So, the other thing we can do here is... We can hook up all three outputs, even though only one of them is being used right now. And then we can copy paste this whole thing 10 times. I'm going to be a little bit lazy. Do 8, 9, 10. I need to bring some um I need to get some glass and bring it down here. 
So for these, I'm just going to shortcut them and hook them straight into that. Um, and then when we actually have crude coming in, like from the other smaller patch over on the other side. Why do you not work? Oh, because I haven't connected it to the main line yet. Well, that little crude patch over there, I'll connect across here somehow and then connect it into that pipe coming from there. Probably not going to reach all the way. Nope. There we go. Okay, so the pump jacks are going. The refineries should be going. They're lighting up now. All right. So we need to connect this into one of these fluid lines. We'll do this one. And we might as well connect all of these. Have to do them any eventually anyway, so might as well just do them. But I didn't lay this out right for beacons exactly, but if I end up doing beacons, I will just do it. Do it at that point. Um, for beacons, you need to actually have these all be two blocks or three blocks away, and then do undergrounds into them, or four blocks away, I guess, and do undergrounds into them, so that you can put the beacons next to the machines. Otherwise, um, the beacons beacons on this side won't reach. So I want to when I and I'm going to copy this whole thing, and I'm going to put it here. Oh, wait a minute, there, there, one, two, three, and a fourth. Um, no. Because the beacons need to be... You can't actually share the beacons between the refineries. Oh yeah, you can. You just have to do it like the way that I didn't do it. So... I'll have to replace this anyway, if I want to do beacons. Because I should have put the water and crude back to back in order to be able to share, share a beacon. And we're out of pipes already. Okay, well, this is still enough. For now. I need some red wires. And I want to pin them here. I also need these tanks. Uh, we don't need a tank on the crude. But I do want a tank on... We don't have any of those. I do want a tank... On a bunch of stuff, but I need to go get some more underground pipes. How are we doing as far as space goes? We have a lot of stuff. We'll make sure we've placed everything we can place. Pipes. One last, two last refineries. There we go. All the pipes are down. So we'll go supply up again. Oil just takes so much stuff to get started. And we are out of research that we can possibly do until we can do this one. But this is, um, like, double red circuits. So it's not something we need right now, anyway. I'm going to pick up some glass and make some more lamps. Actually, we probably, in theory, we should set up the um, mall to make lamps. I didn't do it. Lamps need glass, iron, and copper cable. We don't have any copper cable handy, so we'd have to set this up. Glass is out here, copper is here. And it was iron. So if we do this and this, 
I'm just going to borrow the copper off of the side. I want blue inserters, and I don't have any. Mm -hmm. Grab some pipes. More pipes. Inserters. Iron chests. A few more. Just three more refineries. So this will be copper cable, and this will be lamps. We'll grab from there. Nope, one more. Glass will come off of here, go there. Go there. Alright, so that'll give us some lamps. I'm gonna get like two stacks of those, maybe. Meantime, let's do a little bit... Of, I didn't want the concrete, though. Well, we can put away the concrete. We can use the concrete. Alright, so that's lamps. Let's make some myself here. Pick up what's made. All right, let's go down here. And we'll just put down the rest of this stone. Just get it out of our inventory. Like that. That up. like this, do the same thing, almost, to tweak these a little bit, then these can go, I'll do these manually, be safer. Alright, so now all the refineries are hooked up. You know what, I could also dump some of this wood in the car. That would be the smart thing to do. So, we could do this a couple different ways. The first way we could do this is just to set up the stuff we need. And kind of get on with it. The other way would be to set up everything even though we don't need it yet. And then not have to come back. Tools of thought will tell you both ways uh, are valid. Do three there. Two pipe spaces. I think I'm just going to set up the stuff we need for now. We don't need a space there. and then come back later and do the others. So we're gonna need some coal in here, which means we need to go out and find some coal to mine. I know this will be plastic out, sorry about that. And this will be coal in right here. The petroleum can go like this, uh, and then we'll go coal in. Plastic out in the center, I think. I always forget which way I want to do this. And I'm glad I put some space here because I wasn't thinking. That 
all of this stuff has to get routed up and down this bus. So I have a little bit of space here to route and a little bit of space, or more space here, but more, more congested space here. I made this our coal station here. I don't think I want all of these cars in. Do I want a four? Do I just want, I think I just want two. Well, plastic uses a half a belt of coal per belt of plastic, whichever, whichever size belt, whichever type belt you're doing, doesn't matter. So in reality, then we actually only need two cars to produce four cars worth of plastic. On the other hand, it's just storage, who cares? So I think we'll just go ahead and do the four. But then we're gonna combine these down, oops. Combine these down to, right now, just one lane. Once we get past the point of no return here. We'll combine them down to one lane. And we might need a red underground. Can we put it in the middle? No, of course not. Could do it here, though. But then we have to do this. But that's still cheaper than a red underground. So, because red underground use a lot of gears. So I think this one I will run into this interior here. And we'll use the outer stuff for outputs. So this needs to connect to the petroleum gas line. We need a power pole to come down here. I'm kind of arbitrarily lining the power poles up, but not totally. We forgot our red wire. Red wire off. And I think this actually is a good place to put our tank. Then a red wire that in. And this way, when we put all the tanks out, we actually have a way to measure all of our ingredients, all of our fluids. We can measure the, the petroleum gas, then when we have heavy and light oil, we can measure those, and we'll be able to measure lubricant as well. And that's all the fluids we're going to have, so that's all we need to measure. All right, so this, but now we just need to copy this. Now, one yellow belt, as we saw here, is seven and a half machines. What I'm actually going to do is is put out 16 machines and then we'll do some uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 15, 16. And then after the eighth machine, I'm actually going to turn the belt out and make it a second belt. For now, um, this will actually get re when we have red belts. This will actually get replaced or upgraded a little bit. But also right here, after four machines, I'm going to turn this belt on the inside. Another way to do this is to. I think we did this elsewhere. Is to f output priority to the left, and then side load it. Um, both ways are valid. This way is a little bit more expensive because a splitter costs a lot more than. Two belts. Um, however, in certain cases, the splitter is actually better because it makes sure that stuff that the, the inside is used and has enough space on the outside of the belt for these other inserters to insert. So it's kind of up to you as to how you want to use it. But I just I've always done the little turn thing, so I'm going to continue to do it. All right. Speaking of little turn things, I'm going to actually turn these belts in one tile because of course it's one tile off from the supply here and I'm going to make them go this, to this first station this first um, output station solid output station we have enough room for two belts here so that's where they're going to go um, and it's actually kind of good positioning because we'll be able to bring the um, 
the the sulfur in right here and then the rocket fuel and solid fuel out of these ones here. Alright, so we want to do... Man. Do it like this. So we have two belts splitting into four. And of course I'm going to hit that spot again. Dang it. Well, I'm not going to do a crazy swerve again. I'm going to just do a red underground. I don't have any iron. I'm not going to do a red underground. We're going to do a crazy swerve. Right? So we need one to go here. Nope. Here. And we might have to go further like that. Yep. This here. We could always straighten this out later, especially once we have red belts. But that way, both belts are able to output into any of the four train cars. Kind of a simple concept, but it's something to keep keep in mind. So this imposition is for crude oil whenever we get it from, say, out here someplace, one of these, wherever. This one will be for output for uh, lubricant. And then we'll need to set up uh, sulfur as well. I'm only going to set one belt of sulfur up. And we can actually we can actually use this same I think use this same array concept. Just change the recipe. Oh, it needs water too. Oh, of course. Alright, we'll take this out. The wrong one. That's the item on ground one. Um, one, two, three, four. We need to go down one more just so we have space for the um, beacons if we decide to use them out here. The other option is if, if and when we get the beacons for oil, we just do um, we just set up a whole new oil refinery. Oh, I forgot. We can't use this array at all. Alright, delete all this again. Because sulfur needs two inputs, which means we once again have to do this little arrangement. Oops. Like that. And bring the water in here. Do I want to do... Yeah, we'll do center. Right, and then that means that this has to go like this, or five, six, seven, eight. But we still will do the little turn thing here in the middle, so that we get everything on one side, or everything on both sides, I should say. You can come all the way there. Wow, Andy. Pipe. So as it stands, everything right now is just just working evenly. Um, once we get more stuff going on in here, especially once we have cracking set up, I'm actually going to interrupt these underground pipes here and put pumps in here and here, as well as in the rest of the stuff that we'll build later, because the pumps... Uh, I can use to control the flow, and when we get that laid out, that'll be much easier. Okay, so this can come this way. And then we'll go like that, in a straight... Wow. Straight line. This one can go perfectly right there. Thank you. And I think the sulfur train can just be a two car. But yeah. I don't think we need all four for sulfur. If we do, we can always add them later. That's the beauty of making these stations all the same size. We can always add something later. 
All right, so we have sulfur loading up. We need to go get a coal mine someplace. Is this the nearest one down here? It appears to be so. So I don't like using full crisscross intersections just because they're harder to signal and they're... Um, so I just I just use T's that are staggered some somewhat, maybe about a train car's length if I can, apart. So what we're gonna do is just make that other station be. Eh. And I missed it. Oh, I got it. All right. Make that make that other rail line go. Um. Further east before it comes south before it goes south oh you goofy rail planner that'll be good right in there And I think we need a signal somewhere along this stretch. Actually, I should put one right here after the stations. And then probably just one here in the middle someplace would be fine. I could put signals in kind of everywhere right here. This would just allow the trains to pull forward and be a little bit more ready to move out when a train clears. Not a bad plan. All right, let's go get our car and we'll go and head over and see about, we may need to go back and get some more rail, see about making a, uh, a coal station. Do we have stuff? We have those in the car. Oh. can store that stuff in the car. Let's go pick up some more rail. Maybe some more signals. Oh, that's supposed to be gone. We're actually taking this. going to take this whole power line out. Okay, what do we need more of? Maybe some more of those. Stations, we have plenty. Use a stack of those, maybe a half a stack of those. And rail. Just do. Oh, you can. No, you can't. I lied. But you can do it like this. Okay, that was semi handy then. Start with another straight rail segment. Um, goes there. Not that it matters horribly, but sometimes it's fun to be particular. Auto save. So I think maybe just kind of putting the rail line right in here will be fine. Spiders won't bother us, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, right in here, because otherwise if we go over one more one more rail block, then it'll be in biter land. 
go with the T. Build, build, build. Thank you. We should have picked up more lamps while we were at the base. And a straight rail segment again. I should be doing this on the train. It's easier to drive on the tracks when you're driving on the tracks. don't hit as many power poles, for example. Okay, so there's our coal. There it is. More biters. Alright, this will be enough. And then we'll go into that, make that coal station. Hello, biters. Do a big swath here. Fill up my inventory real quick. I didn't escape fast enough. Ground. I think I just saw... Yep. Tore through those. Alrighty, so I think I'll do do a bit of a parking lot here. Um, this one. Trying to decide if I want it. If I want the station to be like this. Or if I want to use the other parking lot. That's the same one. This one. And put the station. Put the entrance further down south here. This might be better. I'll put the station across like this and just have them load directly kind of into this into the thing so if that's the case then we need to actually put this a bit further down yes yeah, so we need another rail segment great rails hello my alien friends Ran out of lights in the process. We did. Okay. So I'm going to turn off the um, bots here for a second. And let's do a loading station that's T-junction compatible. I suppose we could have just borrowed this from... I'm going to come down a little ways just to make sure that I can combine all the belts. And we'll do this parking lot, uh, this one, we decided on. That's going to be too close, I think. But at least we know we want the T-junction right here. T-junction. Right there. Alright, and then we want to curve that. And then the parking lot here.
Is that going to be too close? I think it'll be okay. We'll make it work. Cancel this stuff. That one. And I see there's one more rail segment in there. Alright, station, loading, T-junction. Great planner. I always do that type of stuff where it's like one one segment off one tile off etc it's kind of a screwy looking station but who's counting Let's go grab one of these blueprints somewhere here in the middle. This, like that. That's a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Maybe we'll do it this way then. This way? Yeah, this way. We'll go to the left and then curve them around. What I get? Uh, let's see. You need to be like this. That should work. What did I do? Miss a belt? Of course I missed a belt. Let's try this again all the belts this time. Oh, none of those are needed. Switch into map view. And we can just run around and let the bots place them. And then I see there are a few more needed out here. Like that. Out of miners already? Yep. We're gonna run out of belt too. One, two, three, four, five, six into four. That's not too bad of a design of a of a balancer. Go ahead and do it. And I'm gonna clean trim these belts up too, but we still need more more belts anyway, and some more miners. What are you keeping score on? How many times I have to go back and get supplies because I goofed up? How many times I'm one tile or one rail segment off? All or some of the above? There's plenty to keep score on. back for belts and miners. Miners are down here someplace. Yes, there they are. That should be enough.
back down here and dump off some of this uh, wood. Eventually we'll start using these circuits and using this wood. Also in driving wrong. The weird station ratio is what, like the six to four thing or something? Or being so close that I had to change the way that I oriented the station? Like I said, there's a lot of things to keep score on here. I forgot to get lamps again. I really should be putting lamps in things because it gets rather dark out here. Did I just run out of nanobots too? Alright. Keep your tally going. I think after playing this game for over two years, I would be better at it. But I always forget the same stuff. I always forget to get all of my supplies in my supply run. Of course, I did burn through a lot of nanobots doing all the tree deconstruction stuff. 100 lamps. That'll be good. I should really have that in like my mining fields and everything. I should. Kind of a low priority area for for lamps, but I should have them there. I'd rather at least have them at the stations. Alright, let's prune some of these belts we don't need. And power poles we don't need. Not as worried about the miners. I know those last few are going to run out fast, but not to worry about it. All right, let's go with uh, Bilka's balancers. Six to four. And we'll go, I think, right there. Up one more. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is fine. And then we'll do the downgrade planner. Do we where our car ends up? Well, there's another good uh, thing to keep score on. How many times I can't draw a straight line when I'm trying to. Hey, look, the car ended up at the output. Good place for it. It's in the way, but it's a good place for it. Alright, so I'm going to have to sneak this belt underneath like that. But who's counting?
Like that. Spaghetti ho. Alright, so that is a train station. I want to grab. Make this black, make it uh, coal one. That. You have some fuel for you. But you are also making coal, so you can fuel yourself here. Coal ever gets down to the end, you can keep a stack of it. I made it eventually get down there, but. Maybe we should put a little more in here just to be safe. I thought about adding that to uh, fill all the the cars mod, and then I completely forgot about it. Whatever that mod is called, it fills all the all these filters. Part of the reason is I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. They should really just make that a vanilla functionality. Alright. How long that's going to take? But it'll be a while. Uh, we did not set up this station. We also don't have very much radar visibility. Because of course not. But this one is going to be... Oil refining. What is it called? Oil. Oh. And. Okay, so you will go from. Full one. When full. The oil, coal in. When empty. Why is it looping? The other one did that too. The other ones did that too. The iron ones we set up before. Don't know why. Alright, it'll come back eventually. It's got to go find some place to turn around, which is going to be the oil station. Actually, you know what then? Go there. Drop off some coal while you're there. Get this party started. Uh, let's get through these trees. Over here, we have plenty of these. Go and set these five up. Not much, but it'll work. Do like this. There you go. Plus one. Um, we need to go down there. No, no, no. One more. Actually, I should just go... No, I'm not going to go through the coal sta the oil station. Set of underground pipes again. That one. There. And there. And like that. Excellent. Alrighty, so we now have 
a decent amount of oil supply coming in. We are doing basic oil processing. Do have a supply of coal. Helping us make plastic, hopefully. Why not? Too far. That's why not. Now you can go. Excellent. These will all be replaced by those pumps later on. Alright, so we have plastic going to town now. And we will have two full yellow belts, hopefully, by the time it's fully processing. Looks pretty full. It actually should be slightly over full. Because it only has 7.5 per belt and we have 8 per belt. But I'm not putting 7.5 machines down for obvious reasons, so... It's going to be 8. We need 20 petroleum gas every second. Times 16, that's plenty. It's only 3... Wait. 20 times 16, yeah, 320. Um, and the pipe can hold... 100 and, or 1200, so there should be plenty in the pipe. None of the machines flash red, so that's good. And it's pretty solid. There are a few gaps. We're going to have that due to the um, way the inserters work. And it's not going to matter anyway, because it's going to get in here and do, and do this. All right, let's set up another train here. I want to say that mod name is Fast Filter Fill. One, copy, paste, paste, and paste, and we have plastic train. And we can set up this train, too. Uh, I should probably set up a little bit of solid fuel getting made. Oh, look, we had the perfect amount. Uh, just so that we can... Fuel the trains with solid fuel from here. And then actually I'll cancel that. A little bit of coal that I have going into that train. Or rocket fuel. We don't have rocket fuel yet research, do we? Um, here, maybe? No. We do have the AAI industry processed fuel, but I don't really feel like using it because it's kind of more geared towards if you're using AAI's automated vehicles. I don't really feel like you fiddling with it it's, it doesn't it's not really it doesn't give you that much more energy per input unit and it just didn't seem all that sort of appealing or enticing to me all right so let's do some colors here uh, plastic's gonna be i think probably straight up white yeah we'll do straight up white for that one Even though it looks, still looks gray. And then sulfur is... It will just go with like a, like a yellow. Like that. I think that makes sense. Not quite matching, but it's close enough. All right, so I'm just gonna let those trains fill up because we don't, we haven't designated stations at the base station, bases station yet to, to handle those. We do need to copy these. All right, let's go. And like I said, we also need to deal with fuel. Where is rocket? Blue science. All right, so in order to do blue science, we now have sulfur, but we also need advanced circuits. Now I added a mod 
that makes advanced circuits a little bit more complicated. Also, oh, they're there. They're also invisible. Um, we need silicon wafers for these advanced circuits. Uh, silicon wafers are made from silicon ingots, which are made from quartz. We can make quartz from stone and water, but we already have quartz on the map that we can mine with water. And so I want to go ahead and use the mined stuff as opposed to trying to do this with um, just or doing this with just stone. I think it's um, more appropriate to, to mine the quartz. Whoa, I almost died there. There's been another thing to keep score on. I'm just enough amused by this tiny little quartz patch right here that I think I'm going to mine it. But I want to think about where I want to set up quartz refining. I could perhaps do it down here. Um, we already have glass and concrete up here, so I don't necessarily want to do it up here, except this is a massive quartz patch here. So if we did do it up here, it would be actually be smart. Yeah, maybe we should set it up up here someplace. Let's look at what this takes. So, in order to get one belt of... Line, add... The quartz... Not the wafers, because the wafers are an explosive recipe. You take one ingot to make five wafers. So, I'm going to put the ingots on the bus. So in order to make one silicon ingot... And we'll call it that furnace for now. Uh, one belt, sorry, one yellow belt. We need 45 quarts, which is mined. So we need three belts of quartz to make one belt of silicon in 300 stone furnaces. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Wow. Wow. All right, well, we need to designate some space then. This is like making, this is akin to making steel. Hmm, maybe we'll just make it up here on the far side of the bus. So, if we're going to do this, um, these are going to be super long, or they're going to be super long anyway. We're going to have at least three arrays. We do a hundred furnaces in an array. Times three arrays. Let me do the pin here so I don't have to keep flipping into this. So let's just look at what this looks like. These arrays are 48 furnaces. So they need to be twice as long plus some. Go ahead and grab one of these to there. I'm going to put some space in this. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to make it just stick out further. Okay, so let's actually grab this whole thing. Change my mind. I'll go some space. And this is the last of the quartz right here. This, this line. So we need to come out at least a little bit from that. Maybe we go right there, turn off the nanos, and get my car out of there. Okay. And we have furnaces in the car. Grab the 
grab this again. Put it down. Right there. Belt. This is insane. Truly really insane. I like it, but it's truly really insane. Alright, so this is how many? 96. So we need four more furnaces. That's easy enough to accomplish. We'll just take this last group here. Drop them in there. And add a missing belt, of course. And we need belts and yellow inserters. And then we need to triple that whole thing. I think for now, I'm going to just start with the one. Because, to be honest... Um... Belts and yellow centers will both be down here. To be honest, we aren't going to need a full yellow belt's worth now. That one. Yellow inserters. 200. That should help. And the little power poles. I almost missed that. And I think after we get this kind of going, we'll set the minefield up real quick. And if we get this going then that'll be kind of the end of the stream. Daisy, and if you want to uh, stream tonight, if you want to, you can probably start your countdown. Because I don't, I think I'll be done within 10 minutes. Right, and then let's bring this coal with us. Uh, let's go grab that. I should probably still have it in our queue here. Da, 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 there. Oh, that's right. We need water for this, too. To mine it. Handy. I forgot about my lights again. Lights. I'm gonna put the lights in here. Uh, come on. Let's copy this again. With the lights this time. enough power poles that we've already built to make us not have to go back and get another one. Yes, we can. Alright, so now we need to deal with the water. Won't be that hard. This needs 15 water per mining operation. I wonder if we can get by with just one. We're going to try it. Further this way, maybe. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Either way. Nope, you've got to stop there. And I don't have any undergrounds. Underflows.
Oh boy. All right. Need to go get some iron and make some more underflows. And then one of these. Really? We need, oh, we need bricks for it. Oh, geez. All right, we'll run down here and get some bricks. Or we'll go ahead and place stuff we don't need. I don't mind. Back, that up, put it back down again. Why are they not going? Oh, there they go. They just had to, like, fill up or something? Yeah, they had to fill up. Okay. Oh, no, that can be a straight one through. I'm going to do a, a, a cheap uh, t four to three here just because I gave myself not enough space. But actually, I should connect this one to these right now. That way they get enough supplies. All right, so that's kind of where we're going to end it tonight. Um, we have silicon ingots being made. We have plastic and sulfur ready to go here where we can't see them and so the next episode we'll be able to bring all three of those things onto the bus and be able to start making red circuits which means we'll be able to start making blue science once we can start making blue science then we can start we can research advanced oil processing technically we already have the blue science we could do it but I want to kind of do it right. And then once we have blue science, let's see. Um, advanced oil processing is there, which means we can go back to the oil field and set that stuff up. And then, um, and then we want to work our way towards robots, which is still locked behind a couple of other uh lubricant which we'll do right after advanced oil processing and then electric engines so we'll do these three they take 50 50 and 75 so those will go pretty fast and then we'll do this one which means we'll have to make one of the msi labs and put gladys in it and uh, set that up in our lab area so that that'll be a good list of stuff to do next time and we'll see if we get through it all or not uh Tonight, we're going to raid Fazian, who is working on his Astroneer playthrough again. And then we will um, we'll be back again probably tomorrow, with Oxygen not included. Um, and then, if so, then there'll be a factory after that on Thursday. If, if I end up not doing Oxygen not included tomorrow, then uh, it'll be Oxygen included on Thursday and factory after that. Uh, so thanks, everyone, for coming. And we'll see you again next time. Bye, everyone.